Hello, this is Ben Marshall from DOS, and I'm going to talk you through the basic setup of the NVR8IQ. It's the same setup as the NVR4IQ, the DOS IQ series NVRs. The 16 channel is slightly different, so that will be in a separate video later on. To start off with, this is the entry screen that you see when you load up the device for the first time. You can see from here I can't really do very much because I'm not logged in. So let's click the Start button log in. From here our username by default is admin and our default password is 888888. Very lucky. I log in and then it brings up this little guide. We can bring this up anytime we like but the first time we do it it's a useful thing to go through. Obviously have your language, no choice at all, we're speaking English on this day. We've got two different resolutions and then through here we have our network set up. Now I know that by default that the DHCP is switched off here. We do this deliberately so that you can pick and choose to make uh, to based on your network. So in this case my modem router is sitting at 1.1 and I can set this IP address to anything I choose. So I'm going to put 150 in here but I'm going to select DHCP anyway because I know I have a DHCP server set up in my modem router. So, so long as my gateway matches my network gateway, my modem router's IP address, and I tick DHCP with an address in this range, we should be absolutely fine. Go to Next. On this screen we have the three QR codes. These two, Apple and Android, take you to the respective uh, Apple Store, App Store and the Android Google Play Store to download the FSEYE app that you'll need to remotely view this device. And this QR code here is actually the QR code for this 8 channel unit. So scanning this one in the FSEYE app, putting in the right username and password, brings up this recorder. Alright, let's finish. So anytime I want to, I can bring up that guide just by clicking there. And so I can go through and change any of the settings that I want or bring up the FSEYE code again. I can also tick this box and it means that every time I log in it won't bring up this guide.